What's up guys and we're back with Rise of Mordor and there has been a massive update in the sub mod. We have elves. We have the uh, Lindon elves over here and we have over in the distance with Imladris. Where are they? Where are they gone? It's over there in the distance. But I mean, yeah, this is a huge update to the, uh, to the uh, Rise of Mordor sub mod and we're going to have to check it out because I mean, this, these... Guy, these guys look amazing. I can get my words out properly. So I mean, we'll have a look, quick look here. We've got some Noldorian archers. Um, so like the Noldor elves, I'm pretty sure like the elves that first come across, like for the Silmarillion. If you've read the Silmarillion, you'll have a vague idea. If you haven't, it's a big old book about the history of Middle Earth, basically. So there's the Noldor archers. Uh, they're like the heavy archers. I think they're the only heavy. Uh, they're the only bow unit, I think, in it at the moment. Um, well, there are also these guys, the Greyhaven Guardians, Greyhaven being like Lindon's main city. Um, these are like uh, Turks and stuff in 1212 AD, they're a bow and sword unit, so they're medium uh, medium swords but have bow capabilities, so they're quite handy. Not very good against most of the um, heavy infantry that uh, Iml Imladris has, I'll uh, just let you in on that, but they are pretty handy to have anyway for extra bows. Um, we'll go over here and look at these uh, cavalry with the uh, Noldorian horsemen. They look very good. Similar sort of armor style to uh, the archers just on horseback. And they've got their awesome shields. Um, these guys just remind me of uh, like the guys in uh, Fellowship of the Ring. That's the one. that they, There's like the big battle between Sauron and like the Numenorians and the elves. Here are the uh, heavy swords with their shields and their... Uh, Swords. Let's see. Like, can we get? Can we get, have a look at one of their swords? Yes, we can. Look at that. Look at those swords. Curved like the classic uh, elven swords are. What else do we have? We have. Oh yes, we have some. Well, it says it's an axe unit, but they're not there. Uh, Nordorian swordsmen. Uh, so these guys have just got their two-handed, huge cleavers. They're going to just cut down many, many elves. Um, I imagine. So yeah, they're heavy infantry. These are swords. Then we have some pikes here, so uh, Greyhaven long spears, uh, looking awesome. I'm loving like the different uh, types of uh, armor as well. You can tell they put a lot of effort into it. They're putting, they could could have just gone with a similar sort of like armor as these guys, but no, they decided let's just the Greyhaven guys. They can have entirely different units. Then what do we have here? We have Gil Gilad. Here he is, looking amazing as ever. I'm pretty sure I read about him in the Silmarillion. I'm pretty sure he is like the Lord of Lindon for quite a long time, if not. Even until like the War of the Ring, and this is just the, his general unit. So I mean, these guys look pretty damn cool. Very similar to the spear units, which uh, are here. So that is, yeah. If anything, they're identical. Yeah, they are basically identical. And there you go. That is basically the entirety of Lindon. Um, we'll quickly have a look at Inladris while they engage with us in our archers. Oh my gosh, this is a quite a bit of lag just coming into all these elves like. Uh, yeah, so basically, Noldorian archers for them. Um, basically, similar sort of armor, but in silver. I mean, they're also very bloodied up right now. Uh, they have their spears here. So, Nold um, if I yeah, Noldorian spears. So, they're just basically the same, but in the silver. But they look very, very cool as well. Um, they have Noldorian swordsmen back here. Very nice. Um, these are probably one of the only different units. Guards of Imladris, the pike unit. Uh, so, they look, they've got similar sort of armor to their sword. And uh, uh, sword and shield uh, compatriots they look very very nice as well. And the very uh, the only real uh, unique unit, um, which is also kind of competes with our uh, sort of uh, guardians of uh, Grey Havens. That's it. God, I can't think of words today. The veterans of Oregion, or I don't know how you pronounce that, but these guys are very heavy melee unit. Can I have three of them? But they are also a bow and uh, sword a unit, but they are very heavy compared to my uh, medium, so this is probably why you can remove three of them, because they are going to be very, very strong and hard to beat. And General Lord Elrond, uh, obviously, uh, if you watch Lord of the Rings, you know who this guy is. I mean, it doesn't look very much like him as he does in the movie, but, you know, you can work with what you have. I mean, and he is also a, a Veterans of Aragian unit. We also have Noldorian horsemen, very similar to uh, in Lindon's version, and we also have horse archers, which is another unique unit for Imladris. So, 
Obviously, if you watch The Hobbit, that you see there's like Imladris has uh, cavalry with bows, and that is where they probably got the idea from. And anyway, so the battle has started, and the cavalry has engaged, and it looks like the infantry is about to do so as well. And um, there's been a, enough shooting of bows that they've given up doing that, and it's now time to get in on the action. And it's so good to now have uh, elves into uh, into the action. We can now do a proper Helm's Deep. And here we go, infantry clash. And we have some swords against spears. You imagine that the swords will overcome the spears in time. Um, hopefully. I mean, I don't really know which one's stronger out of Imladris and Lindon. I mean, all the elves, the only problem is that the elves move so quick. I, it looks like I've got it on like fast speed or something like that, but I don't. The elves in this mod move so quick. Trying to keep up with everything is insane. So the Noldoran horsemen here got a very good charge off on these uh, heavy infantry. Um, doing a lot of damage there. And then we have some uh, heavy swords. Uh, well, swords and uh, some spears in here fighting against uh, Noldoran heavy infantry. Which are looted decisively. And also, if you haven't realised, all the units are a lot smaller. So 90, 75. I've got my unit sizes the no as normal. Um, it's just that the elves are very elite. So you can't have huge units of them. And they're also a lot more expensive. So I've had to put the funds up massively. So we can actually show off two huge armies. Um, but yeah. So th all these units are like almost over a thousand. So if you're bringing a... If you're doing a multiplayer game. And you're wanting to bring elves. You're going to have to rely on a very small and elite army. If you're fighting certainly like your hordes of orcs. But you will kill a lot. I mean, these guys are doing a lot of damage to each other. Imagine these guys doing damage to orcs. It'll be very, very nasty. I mean, every shot that they're basically firing with their arrows is definitely getting at least probably half a dozen kills. It is actually brutal. Um, my advice, I mean, I have i don't know what their stats are because I haven't really looked at the stats. But I mean, in my advice, bringing pikes as the elves, especially if you're going against elves, are very effective. Um... Also, bows are very uh, effective. Um, obviously, that's if you bring in elvish bows. If you're not bringing elvish bows, um, bring, I don't know really. I guess you need a lot of heavy, a lot of heavy swords. So stuff like Jesus, there's a lot of life just going in on there. Um, I don't know. Bringing sort of anything that's like an axe unit, um, which is probably gonna be like a double, double sworded unit. Bring a lot of them. I imagine, I'd like to see the elves against the Eastlings. I imagine that'll be quite a close battle because I'd say the Eastlings are one of the other strong, in my opinion, are one of the other strong factions. Obviously, Gondor as well. Um, it'll be interesting to see how balanced the elves are currently against other factions. Have, we'll have to do sort of a uh, Helm's Deep scenario again now that we have elves and maybe use the uh, Rohan submod to uh, get some more variety in their roster. But here we go. I mean, there's not much going on. It's just a huge front line. I did get some cavalry in behind over here, um, just to kind of harass. But I mean, I mean, it's actually a fresh unit against two battered units. So I mean, we probably have a good chance here of winning. I mean, look at the size of cavalry units. 45. These those men take ages to die. I mean, you can see here. Look, this is the scenario that I was looking at uh, for most of the battle. These heavy swords um, are actually well, uh, these swordsmen beat our heavy infantry. So, I mean, these are uh, Imladris guys. Well, I mean, I think both sides have very good double-handed swords units. I don't think their shielded units are just strong. But, yeah, they're chopping them down. We are, we are in a bit of trouble, to be fair. I've got some of my uh, Gu Greyhaven Guardians um, back. I have sent some into combat just to fill in some gaps. But they are not faring too well. These pikes kind of need to get uh, mobilized a little bit more as well. They're kind of just standing just out of range of pike jabby area. I mean, apart from these ones. These ones are getting stuff done and getting chopped up by other guys with huge swords. I mean, there's a big cluster going on here as well. We're just about to win this flank off uh, the Noldorian swords, but these guys will not stop fighting either. I really should get my cab out of here because they're just not making it any easier. They're not going to be really doing much... Uh, much good in there in Kalong melee. These are still shock cavalry in the end of the day. And fighting against axes, they've well basically been treated as axes. Uh, axes will chop down cavalry pretty easily. And but we are winning that flank over there, so we are actually gonna kill that cavalry. 
And there's, oh, we have more cavalry back here. So clearly, um, oh yes, I was doing like a sneak attack on all their, on all their archers here. But uh, we'll have to see whether that pulls off. We are um, just about winning. There is, I don't know, this is sort of a cluster going on here. There's a lot of fighting, just general fighting going on. I mean, God, look at these boys. They have done a good job of the modders in creating these. After having an update for the main Rise of Mordor uh, uh, last week, we now have this update for the sub-mod. It's just all Lords of the Rings at the moment. I just can't wait until, well, I guess I don't really want it to ever really end, uh, the updates and stuff like that. I hope they constantly keep updating it, but when this mod gets relatively complete, it will be amazing. I mean, there's still a few factions that probably need some stuff. Rohan is obvious, is an obvious one. They have about four units um, if, without that uh, sub-mod of their own. The elves, there's a few, they're still pretty basic. There's about six units for each. But um, they're looking good so far. But then again, I don't know really what else you'd add. The elves don't have masses amounts of different troops. Maybe a, maybe some lower tier units might be an idea. If you wanted to bring like some really um, well big elven armies and you don't have a lot of money. And obviously, I'm still waiting out on those, on those trolls for Mordor. Look at these guys. They don't even break. This unit is just about to break, and it's had about two or three guys left. There's about four men left. These, these units take forever to break. The elves just basically go, unless you, like, basically, I don't know, kill their general, which I think we have done. I can't see the general. I think Elrond has fallen. Yeah, I think he might be dead. Yeah, none of them are Elrond, so at some point Elrond did die. Uh, I hate to say it. Gil-Gilad is still alive, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's... Well, I'm sure There's stuff going on over there. This battle's all over the place. The elves move too quick, man. Oh yeah, there's Gil-Gilad. He's, he's probably pretty safe. He's probably fine in there. I'm just enjoying watching the infantry clash. I don't really care what's going on back there. Um, basically, all that's happening is cavalry harassing... Uh, archers. That's all you need to know. Just basically allowing my archers to have free reign of the battlefield now. Because I personally thought that the Imladris archers were ever so slightly better. I bet the stats are probably the same. I just felt like we were getting absolutely destroyed by their archers. And since these uh, Imladris doesn't have heavy infantry yet, that's possibly the only thing I'd probably change. I'd probably add them. Because otherwise you're relying on a lot of um, non-shielded units, which are obviously very prone to uh, arch fire. Unless you bring all the spears, which they could do. They could spam out spears. And the spears, elven spears are probably some of the best spears in the game, as they expect to be. They are very, very good. We, just, we are cutting stuff down now, though. Oh, very nice kill. Is he going to kill him? No, he just threw him over his shoulder. I don't actually think he stabbed him. But yeah, these guys, they just move so quick. Look at that. Zoom, they're off. And these guys are... Active. Okay, I was about to say, if they were still, like tired or something like that, that would be insane. But it does look like we are winning. Um, I know I've not really been focusing on the battle, I've just been looking at the uh, close-ups, but I'm not really, it's not the battle, like, the scenario. We're just showing off the, the new update. I don't really care what happens in the battle. We are about to win. This is the final stand. This is some veterans of Oregia and holding against, well, a horde of everything. But this, they move so quick, you can't really keep Keep an eye on what's happening. Which is why I'm a bit worried that they're going to be a bit too powerful for, like, say, an orc. Like, a poor orc's trying to keep pace with these guys. But it is nice to see, uh... It is nice to see the elves now in the game. And there we go. A Peric victory, apparently. Uh, it felt a bit better than that. Maybe a close victory, but oh well. We'll end the replay and have a quick look at some of the stats. I, um... I imagine our archers are going to got a lot of kills. I actually know. Probably not. Actually, my Noldorian swords. There's guys with those huge swords getting 203 kills. Um, 191 and 180 being like some of the best units there for them. 
Um, as my as I said, the heavy infantry actually isn't as great as I thought. Um, they are pretty good. I imagine they're probably pretty good against non-elf units. Um, but I mean, these guys actually didn't do fair too well against certainly um, their Noldorian swordsmen and stuff like that. Guardians of um, Grey Haven. Guardians of Grey Havens could be Guardians of Grey Havens, but it's not. It's Grey Havens Guardians. Uh, did it okay. About ninety-four kills was their best. Um, they are a medium unit, so they are outmatched by just about everything on this side here. Um, I think they could. They probably the only thing they could go head to head with and probably win quite comfortably is the archers. Um, Pikes did okay. Not just kind of there and supporting. Sixty-one was their best. Cavalry getting one hundred eight is the best unit there. That's pretty good. But they were just in the end down to running down archers and archers getting. 68 kills. I think our archers did get outmatched in fairness to theirs. And the spears getting 45 kills. So that's not too bad. And Gil Gilad getting 42. Good job, you. Well done. Well done. Um, Elrond getting 36. Um, he did kind of just charge himself in straight away and got himself killed. Bit of a strange move, but it is the AI, so what do you know? They probably don't know what they're doing themselves. Um, and like I said, Noldorian swordsman. Probably their strongest unit, 168 kills. Very good uh, by them. The veterans of Regan did pretty well as well, getting 94 kills. That's pretty good. They are an arch unit. I'm surprised um, didn't send them in. They are a very heavy unit, uh, sword unit, so they'll be pretty good in melee as well. Um, and then 98. Oh no, that's another Noldorian swords. Uh, their spears did okay. But their spears, I guess. Like I said, I think spears do quite well against anything that's not an elf. Um at the moment, I think most of these units would fare, like the ones that did poorly would fare against any other faction very, very well. It's just that they're fighting other elves, and I think you just, if you're fighting elves versus elves, you want a lot of these Noldorian swords, in my opinion. And maybe pikes, and obviously archers to focus them down, but I mean, and some cav, but you don't really need like spears and the, sh uh, the shielded spears, the shielded swords, really. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, but anyway, yeah, and the Pikes did okay as well, the Guards of Imladris, you can only have three units of them, which is a bit of a shame, so they were outnumbered in the Pikes, uh, Pike area, but not by too much. Um, Old Dorian Archers getting 54 kills, it's actually, the Archers, I thought, decimated us, but they didn't actually do that much damage. Um, and their Cav, uh, their Archer Cav only getting 66 kills, it's not actually too bad for a Horse Arch unit. And then 34 kills for Noldoran Horseman. That's not that bad. But, I mean, it's not great either. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And, wow, here we go. We've got elves on the battlefield now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. And want to, if you want to see more Rise Mordor, like I said, just leave a like. And let's see if we can get to 1,000 subs. And anyway, until next time, guys, bye for now.